What's up guys, welcome to episode 1308 of the Hearthstone Daily Moments. We're talking about classic cards in today's comment question, so to have a chance to feature in the next episode, come join us at the end and enjoy the video. Ah, <laughs> Так, Рагнарос. Смотри, я прошу немного. Хорошо, хорошо. Смотри, все равно это очень важно. Смотри, 9-7. Не нужно бить в лицо, не нужно. Рагнарос, смотри. 9-7. Наша цель 9-7. 9-7. Боже мой, почему ты такой тупой? Alright, let's uh let's go to taunt. Don't have enough hand space, do I? Are you yeah, sure about space? that? Oh God! Just shut up! Just shut up! Shut up! Just shut up! Everybody, shut up! Everybody, shut up! All of you! Everybody, everybody, shut up! Okay? Ty, jeśli przejmę któregoś ze sługusów, to mam lital. A jest trzech sługusów. Ej, no halo! Proszę, dawaj, stary. Bierzesz! Sługusa! Łatwo. Łatwa gierka. No, od początku było wiadomo, że wygramy. No ani chwilę nie zwątpiłem w to. Ani sekundka nie była zwątpienia. Stealing anything at all right now, anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah, they do preemptively play the things here. I'm just getting a free turn. With the process earlier of making sure to get their res pool, Katrina Muerte is still there. Uh, we'll now give them a chance to bring one back. They'll also use the seance on that. Yeah, the seance is an incredibly strong play here. Katrina Marte is just so Ooh. incredibly strong. Sick Goblin Lackey. Wow, they're Sylvanas stealing the 1-1. One -one. Ohio State giving them a 1-1 one -one in the pool. I honestly am normally always thinking about giving your opponent small minions in res decks. One. Instead, Zarek's cloning gallery makes a copy of the minion into a 1-1. One -one. So it's a clone. You know, the whole thing. Oh. And the Goblin Blackie again! Oh. Waterloo is just getting beat down by this Goblin Blackie. Who would have thought that Sylvanas play way back? Draw, draw more. <laughs> this is just superfluous. There's draw three cards. Nizoth worth zero. Nizoth worth zero. Nizoth. There is absolutely worth no zero. reason to draw that wondrous one there. But you know what? When you win the game this hard, every you flex. Play, you flex. I think a I thought the golden cobalt was a pretty cool flex as well. 
if I do say so myself. I thought the goblet was a cool flex. Yeah, that too, just having even more moves off in here. At that point, it's just flexing. It's just a matter of how hard you're flexing. Waterloo, I got a feeling they're gonna be flexing that conceit button as Ohio State has made some masterful plays back and forth. What a fantastic series. Ready? Get ready to dab. On the drop. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! Dab again! That was a good turn. Ma tanto mo ci avrà la madonna, ci avrà i roba per fare le madonne. Attivazione del dislocatore mentale DC 130 A Pegorina! Fatti bene, è finita per me. Come the one three police. We're in a bad spot. We're in a bad spot. Give me my second pump more if I'll suck a dick. Oh my god, it happened again. No. <laughs> god, I just finished sucking the first one. Oh no. Going absolutely all in here. Blimp. Here we go. Evolve, what will you give us? Second time. Looks like they might have just decided that they were going to play these cards no matter what, and then play the evolve. Hero Power Evolve. It's the best play that they could come up with. They finally got it. They were itching to draw this the entire game. And no! Doomsayer! No! They hero powered again! No! Jay how we kept talking about it all game long. The hero power in Evolve is just not the play. When you play with fire, sometimes fire might come back and bite you or burn you. Did I forget to feed hot form in the basement again? No, I didn't forget. We intentionally didn't feed him.
Thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you like what we do, then go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell, because we upload a brand new episode every day. With that said, let's crack on with the comment question of the day. Which card from the classic and basic sets do you think is the best? Let me know down below what makes it such a good card, and I'll feature your best responses in the next episode. Moving on, and yesterday I wanted to know, which of these four minion types do you think is the strongest? Elemental, Demon, Pirate, or Totem? Hellgang says it's gotta be Totems, you and those little guys are in it together. Rosalis Trebler says they play wild so they know Pirates are the strongest, but they also really like Demons. And Kyoki Wood says Totems are obviously the strongest, after all, every single Shaman decides to use them. Hard to argue with that kind of logic. Checking out some other comments and Glenn Tay says purple is acting like silver name when he gets good RNG. Count Super C says if he used hero power first, Zephyrus probably would have offered lethal. And last up today, David, Quacker and Monsieur X all want to know why trade off brand first. It's simple really, it's the first rule of genies, you can't wish for more wishes. See you tomorrow guys. I will pin the best comment when this video is 15 hours old.